Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. I'm your host Muhammad Azam and this will be an exciting video because we are going to create the keyboard extensions in iOS 8. Yes, so if you have already downloaded iOS 8 then you know that you can replace your system keyboard with some custom keyboard. Uh, if you go to the App Store and if you have iOS 8 installed then you will have a lot of choices to install for your custom keyboard. But as developers, it's, it is of course more exciting because we get to design the new awesome keyboard. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is a single view application and a keyboard, it's like an app, but it's also not like an app because it needs an app to run. It's usually an extension, okay, within a separate target, separate binary. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a target to it. And let's go ahead and add a target. And you can see that uh, there's a new, over here, new category. It's called application extension. We're going to select custom keyboard. Go ahead and say next and name anything you want. I'm just going to say circle keyboard because it will have circle buttons, whatever. Who cares, right? And activate the theme. All right. so. We have this new target now, it's called Circle Keyboard, and it also has this uh, Swift file attached to it. Now this is of course a all the, the default code. We're not gonna, not gonna do anything with it right now, just gonna build it and see that everything is okay, right? Let's uh, next switch to the keyboard demo scheme and let's run this application. And here we go. We don't have anything over here. We don't even have a way to pop out the keyboard. So let's go over here to the main storyboard. We're just going to say a text field. Let's drag a text field and that's it. Okay. Go ahead and run it. So we have a text field. When it pops up, now it's already popping up the, the keyboard, but I, will, I can show you how you can reset it. So let's go ahead and reset it and start from the beginning. Right, so here we go. Let's reset it again so we are sure. There we go. Let's go ahead and run it now. And here we go. So this is a system keyboard that you will see. And if you want to switch to a different keyboard, you can switch to Apple's keyboard, English keyboard or emoji, but you don't see any custom keyboards over here. So let's go ahead and add that. We're going to go to hardware, home, go to settings, go to general, keyboard, keyboards, add new keyboard. And here we go. You see a keyboard demo over here. That's your right. I'm going to select that. Go to hardware, go to home. And let's go ahead and run this application again. And now if you click on this smiley face over here, you can see your own custom keyboard. Let's go switch to that. And there we go. That's it. That's your keyboard. That's your custom keyboard that comes with the default implementation when you create a custom keyboard extension. Now, you might be thinking, what is this button next keyboard? Now, this button is mandatory. It doesn't well, it doesn't have to be like that. I mean, it doesn't have to appear or say next button or next keyboard, but there have to be a button in your custom keyboard that will allow the user to switch to different keyboard if they want to. Now, if you don't have that button, your app will be rejected. Okay. You want me to repeat that again? All right. So if you're developing your custom keyboard, you must have an ability from your keyboard to switch back to the other keyboards, namely Apple system keyboard. Um, and if you don't have that capability of switching from your custom keyboard to other keyboards, then your app will be rejected. All right. Okay. So now we can see our custom keyboard. So let's get started working on it. We're going to go and create a new file, which is which will be a view. And we're going to say over here, keyboard view. OK, let's go ahead and create that. It's a nib file. 
and we're going to go over let's close this out size is free form and let's limit the size to 320 by 220 so this will give us plenty of space to design our own keyboard right uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the background color let's go ahead and change the background color to green and let's add one button to it so UI button let's go ahead and add it over here all right or maybe there we go uh, you can make the button bold system bold done and the text color you can do white and you can write Q over here because that's like the first key now you might face some issues that I'm facing right now sometimes it's very hard to move these things all right here we go okay so this is our keyboard so whenever now we pull up our custom keyboard it should look a little bit like this all right so we have to go over to our keyboard view controller and make sure that we load that nib file so let nib equal to ui nib and then the nib file name in this case is what keyboard view bundle is nail in this case and we are going to say nib dot instantiate with owner and options we don't want to provide any option right now and then we can say view equal to objects of first as UI view. All right, let's go ahead and build this. Everything good. Now, if you do want to debug your keyboard, you can always switch to the circle keyboard, which is an extension, and then hook it up to the main application. And that's what we're going to do. Hook it up to the keyboard demo. And hopefully by this time when it loads, here we go we have our own custom keyboard with really nice color which is green and a button that you can actually click on it how cool is that i think that's pretty cool right now you can go over here and you can add some more buttons of course if you can select those All right, click a copy. Let's do it. And what is it? Q W. And you get the picture, right? Basically, you're just creating a QWERTY keyboard. If I can select that, that would be really helpful. But you get the picture, right? I mean, you can add more buttons to over here you can do many things here we go let's go to the R and there are some issues of course I have encountered some issues at least uh, with the constraints that I'm putting here we go the constraint that I'm putting on uh, using storyboard all right let's go ahead and run it let's see how it looks like will does it have the constraints that it needs or does it look weird okay it looks okay all right a little bit of space over here but we do have our QWERTY keyboard over here now if you do want the rounded corners that I talked about not really much of a task because you're going to just say make round corners this is a function a custom function we can write it easily right and we can say function make round corners basically what you need to do is you need to say button in what is this self dot view dot subviews and then if button is ui button then then you will say button as ui button and dot 
what is it, background uh, layer uh, dot corner radius equal to whatever, three or something. And then you can say button. Uh, I think that's the background color. Let's go ahead and go with the background color. Um, and whatever color you want, you write color dot red color. And then button dot layer dot corner radius equal to whatever, six or three, whatever. And then button dot layer dot what else is mass to bounds equal to true. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. Maybe that will do the job, maybe not. Let's see. We might have to select if you want borders and everything, but here we go. So we got a little bit of round thing going on, as you can see. Okay. Now, if you do want to, of course, eventually you will want to handle the events, right? So that's pretty easy. Function button pressed button UI button. And this is just an IV action. So uh, you're going to go to keyboard view. What happened over here? Okay, here we go. So you would go to the keyboard view and go to the file owner and you will select this guy over here and see that it is NS object. You don't really want NS object, you want keyboard view controller. Now the view's owner is a keyboard view controller. So we can basically see that event that we want, which is button pressed, and we can attach it over here, uh, touch up inside. We can attach it over here, touch up inside. So basically the same event will be fired once, uh, whenever you click these things, touch up inside, and then this guy, touch up inside, and then this guy, touch up inside. All right. Um, inside the touch event, what we do want to access finally is string not string, sorry, bar string equal to button dot title label dot text. All right, and then we can do a text document proxy as UI key input dot insert text, and then we can uh, we can insert the text over here, the force unwrapping, and here we go. So let's go ahead and run this. Here we go, our button, and here we go. You can see over here that we are actually typing whatever. And that's pretty much it. So that is actually the basics of getting started with creating a custom keyboard and uh, well, as you can see, it's, uh, you know, the basics are easy, but of course, when you are developing a more a feature, the more features for the keyboard, uh, it will get difficult. So, and you will begin to appreciate the work and the passion that the Apple has actually put into creating a system keyboard. I hope you like this video and I can't really wait to see your great awesome keyboards and download it so when you're done creating your awesome keyboard hey email me comment on the video and i'll show to download it thank you very much for watching